What's up, 31 fam? How you doing? Welcome back to Shop 31. Uh, this is a video, man. I'm trying to get some music reviews. I got so much stuff going on. I got some other videos I'm putting out that uh, I had to push them back. But I'm going to do some uh, stuff for you. And I got uh, unsigned artists for you coming up within the next day. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. All right, folks? Anyways, this is a video that I just... I wasn't going to do this. I got to. So I did a video about Travis Scott. And I, there was a lot of people that didn't understand what I was wanting, my opinion. They didn't agree with me. Turns out, most of what I said was accurate. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link to it in the description. Or I'll pin a comment or something for you guys. But I'll put it away for you to go look at that video. Um, my, my, my real issue was that I didn't want to cast judgment until we knew more about the situation. It turns out that he had little to do with any of the organization of the thing. They were basically using his name. So I don't see how you can cancel Travis Scott. Was he being kind of, uh, was he using poor judgment? Probably a little bit, yes. But I think people are making things about him that aren't about him. To a degree. All right. Now, this video is not about that. So if you want to talk about that, go ahead if you want to. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I shouldn't have even mentioned it. My fault. You know what? I can talk about what I want to talk about. It's my video on my channel, and you're here to watch it. I hope. I don't know. Are you? <laughs> you know what? I hope you are. And if you do like my content, please show some love. Give me a, a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to that 20,000 mark, baby. Anyways, also, on a more serious note, if you need somebody to talk to about you're just struggling with something, anything, man, uh, as, far, as long as I'm qualified to talk about it, I'll be a shoulder you can lean on, friend you can talk to. So hit me up on Instagram, okay? I got a story coming about that, too. I got lots of good content coming for you lovely folks. Um, anyways, this video is about... Uh, so I assume that a lot of you guys probably watch Hella Yassin um, at Blackie Speaks. I, I don't listen to them all the time, but I try to stay up on what they're doing. But if I listen to them too much, I'm going to end up biting their videos and stuff. And so I, I try not to do that. Even though it's kind of a, kind of comes with a territory when you're that big. You know, they're they're huge channels to me. Um, but I just saw Hello, Hello Yassin said, Travis Scott is canceled literally. Um, and he was doing, he said a lot of things wrong. And all I'm going to do is correct a few things that he said. And uh, give my opinion on the situation. And then I would like to hear your opinion on the situation. So, apparently, uh, Anheuser-Busch, the owners of Budweiser, Bud Light, and all the beers that they are the umbrella for, has cut ties with Travis Scott. He, so, I'll read, you, I'll read you the thing that I found. All right. So, first off, uh, Hello Yassin didn't understand that it's, it's, called, it's pronounced Anheuser-Busch. It is a beer company. They own Budweiser, Bud Light, and whatever else they own. There's a bunch of stuff. But they got a lot of companies that, that are, they have a lot of brands that they own. So Anheuser-Busch, one thing that he said is that he didn't think it was a publicly traded company. Yes, it's Anheuser-Busch. They're publicly traded. Um, they've cut ties with Travis Scott. Apparently, and I didn't know this, he had a thing called Cacti. It was like a hard seltzer. So it's basically like uh, Topo Chico if it was like flavored with alcohol. And... Um, Man, this is good. This is stuff from uh, Chipotle. It's this like Mandarin agua. It's amazing. Anyways, I'll read you what I found. I'll tell you what I think. And then I'd love to hear, like, like I said, your opinion in the comments if you have the time and desire to do so. Travis Scott's hard seltzer brand Cacti has officially been discontinued. The announcement comes following the artist's November 5th Astral World concert, which led to 10 deaths total and hundreds of injuries due to crowd control issues. Travis is currently facing several lawsuits related to the event. Anheuser Busch released a statement about the discontinuing of the Cacti Hard Seltzers, saying that after careful evaluation, we have decided to stop all production and brand development of Cacti Agave Spiked Seltzer. We believe brand fans will understand and respect this decision. The website and social channels for Cacti Seltzers have already been removed. Bananas, bro. When asked by AdAge if the decision was made in direct response to the Ashworld tragedy, Anheuser-Busch declined to comment further. Cacti launched in March of this, year's, uh, this year, excuse me, and it broke records upon its release. Paper reported that, sel that the seltzer sold out uh, at thousands of locations across the country within 24 hours of its debut and that online inventory was gone in less than 12 hours. In his first interview following the November 5th incident uh, with radio host Charlemagne the God, Travis said he didn't know the exact details until minutes before the press conference. Good grief. 
I don't know what details he's referring to. Maybe this one, the Anheuser-Busch thing. But uh, Anheuser-Busch is not the first brand to cut business ties with Travis as of late. Nike decided to hold off on the release of a collaboration of Air Max sneakers made with Travis Scott. In Nike's statement, they wrote, Out of respect for everyone impacted by the tra tragic events at the Astroworld Festival, we are postponing the launch of the Air Max 1X Cactus Jack. Is that Air Max 110, maybe? Uh, it's unclear if the sneaker... I'm not a sneakerhead. It's unclear if the sneakers are being pulled altogether and what other business partnerships Travis stands to lose following the tragedy. Okay. That's pretty clear cut. They absolutely cut ties with them due to this. Now, I think it's my opinion. I've got a lot of years of, of experience working in and around these uh, industries and, and places and people, okay? Anheuser-Busch is in every venue across the country so while i'm pretty sure that ultimately the blame is going to fall on the people that put on the concert it's not going to fall on travis or the venue it's going to be it's going to fall on top of the people that had something to do with it travis will be to, to blame a little bit i'm talking le legally um your opinion on it could vary and that's completely up to you um anheuser bush is not about to have a situation where they can't get into these venues man they make probably billions of dollars a year on beer sales even now um i don't think he's getting canceled like old buddy was saying i think the people are going to just kind of hang tight for a little bit let the dust settle and see what's happening um i do believe that it, with that without me looking further into it i do believe that he's doing quite a bit for the people that were affected by this absolutely horrible situation um, I just don't want to cast judgment and place blame on somebody that I don't know has earned it. And so I'm not saying that he's not to blame. I'm saying that I'm choosing to not cast that judgment yet. And that's all I've said from the get go. Um, yeah, this is weird, man. How do y'all feel about this? Do you think it's okay? I mean, it's okay for them to do what they do what they want. It's their company. That's the, that's the, that's one of the great things about owning your own company and doing things for yourself. You can do whatever you want. Um, do you think it's fair? Cause I don't. I don't think it's fair at all. I don't, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I don't think it's fair. I think it's kind of, kind of, kind of dumb, especially when they're, dude, if they're, look, they have some strong feelings on this that they're pulling. Like I have to give credit to hello. You he said this first before I did, but it made perfect sense. If they're pulling a product that's selling out everywhere and they're pulling it, dude, that they must have some kind of feelings, man. Uh, yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm a native Houstonian. I don't really care about Travis Scott as far as an artist. I don't know anything about his music other than what I've heard. I don't really care for. Um, but he is a person, and I think that people are being a little too quick to be holier than thou. And uh, it's kind of gross, but whatever, man. I've done stupid things in my life, too. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty surprised by this one. This one kind of surprised me. But I just wanted to come out and let you guys know that it is Anheuser-Busch. It's the owners of Budweiser, Bud Light, and all the things that they are the umbrella over. And that they are a publicly traded company. They have to do this for their image. They have to. They have to. I don't think it's fair, but they have to. Nike, I would imagine, is going to be a little more patient. They're going to wait until things kind of settle down and see what's up. If they decide at that point that it's not worth being uh, affiliated with him anymore, they will probably cut ties as well. So I don't think that he's being canceled. I think that people are being careful and there's a big, big difference. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Otherwise, this has been the Punk Rock Dad with 31 Action News. No, I'm just playing. I did make a playlist called 31 Action News, though, for videos just like this one. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy you and your support and your time. I love you guys. You're awesome. Uh, don't forget we go live every week on Saturday and Wednesday on this channel, and on Tuesday and Thursday on Horror Hangout. If you want to come check us out on Horror Hangout, that'd be awesome, too, because we're just now starting that channel. We're not even at a 1,000 yet, baby. Uh, we're getting there, though. So, yeah. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and be kind to everyone else. Peace. Peace.